Blessed be the barley. Hello and welcome back to the third episode of The Handmaid's Ale. I am Hannah and I am The Handmaid's Ale. I would like to apologise for the lateness of this video. I know it's only one day late, but um, I went away this <laughs> last weekend and I didn't get back to all. Monday and then Tuesday I kind of just slept and unpacked and then yesterday I had meetings and I got a tattoo and yeah it was um, a busy one so I did have to wait an extra day to record this. Anyway on with the beer. Today we will be trying a crop circle from Hopback Brewery. This is a very well known small brewery although they're not that small. Um, Fun fact, I used to work in a pub called the Dove Street Inn in Ipswich and this was probably one of our best sellers. Not this beer, but it was Summer Lightning. Summer Lightning is their most famous beer, it is award winning, it actually has over 70 awards in its lifespan. So a little bit about the brewery. So Hotback Brewery opened in 1986 after the main brewer left London and he decided to move to Salisbury uh, which is in Wiltshire and he started it up by opening a small corner pub and actually above that pub, although I can't remember what it's called, I'm really sorry, is this emblem. Now this is apparently Dionysus, I thought it was the green man and today is the summer solstice so happy midsummer to everybody. Um, but apparently it's not, it's Dionysus, so we should actually be celebrating this beer in December. Oh well. <laughs> um, it's actually a gluten-free beer, which is fantastic. So, so there. And that's one of their main things that they're moving onto as a brewery. They want to get more into the vegan beers, get more into the gluten-free beers, because they are becoming a huge audience, and who would want to miss out on that? So onto the beer itself, it says a very clean flaxen coloured beer with a wonderful thirst quenching properties. So it's not that dissimilar to Summer Lightning, Summer Lightning is a very citrusy hoppy beer. So what am I expecting from this beer? It is a 4.2% which I think is sort of like my perfect strength of beer, that's what I look for, between the 4% and the 4.5% anything above that I find it a little bit too strong for myself I think the summer lightning is like 5.5 or something it, it's it's pretty strong and um, I have served this quite chill because today it is really hot um, as midsummer usually is so I've served this at a cooler end of the spectrum for the cellar temperatures it is a real ale it is camera approved so let's pop it open I really like the bottle tops as well. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, that fizz. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 oh. I promise I haven't shaken this. They are um, known to be quite bubbly as a beer. Oh, I can tell you straight off, this is a lot lighter than uh, Summer Lightning. And this looks like it's going to be a lovely summer drink, this this afternoon. So the bottle, now it's stopped fizzing over and I can actually smell it. Very light. I can't actually get much smell out of that because I've poured it so let's drink the smell it from the glass. Citrusy, very lemony citrus. Very light, it almost smells like a really good quality lager, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna like this one. Oh, I do. Very, very light. Um, it is, I would say, almost lagery in that light, very refreshing way. Very nice in this in this weather. Um, I think this. I think I read that this beer's been around since the mid to late nineties. Couldn't actually get a date or much information about this beer, which is quite annoying. But I really like it. Doesn't have much of an aftertaste. 
which you'd expect from a lighter beer. And the citrus isn't overwhelming. Sometimes when you get a citrusy beer, especially if it's got hints of grapefruit, that is all you can taste and it, it becomes a little bit too dry um, and a little bit too bitter, but this has got a really nice balance. I'm gonna be bold and say this is nicer than Summer Lightning, but obviously that's just my opinion. Right, so all in all, I give Crop Circle a absolutely scrummy yummy 4.5 out of 5 stars because this is exactly the sort of beer that I wanted to drink today. I can't get enough. Now, availability, I have not seen this other than in bottles. I don't know if you can get it in their, well, I know you can get it in their specific pubs because they do own some pubs. So, there is that. I bought this in a ale shop, actually it was a wine shop, but they are like a niche market. Um, but I will definitely keep my eye out and let you know if I can see it. That brings me to the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please do give me a like and a comment below. And if you want to see what I have coming in the next few weeks, then don't forget to subscribe. I am new, I would love your support. And it goes without saying, please drink responsibly. Until next time, guys. Bye.